What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons. Today, I'm going to be trying out some markers that I got off of Wish.com and see if they hold up, see if they're, uh, they live up to my expectations and see if they're worthy enough to be in my collection of markers and see if they can uh, be useful in my illustrations going forward. Now, I've ordered markers off of Wish before and they've actually held up pretty nice, but every marker I order off of Wish is kind of different in terms of the design and the labeling system and like the colors that come in the set because when you order markers off of Wish they come in like a landscape design, architectural design, and like a fashion design and you know stuff like that and the colors kind of vary depending on what type of marker brand that you get and whatever else there is honestly because if, when you order markers off of Wish the brand does vary so you get like different inks and different colors and sometimes you'll end up with two of the same colors but the but the numbers or the labeling will be different. Let's say in terms of Copic markers you get an R27 red and then you'll suddenly get like another red that's the exact same color but it's going to be a different number. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. When you look at the pictures on Wish and you look at the reviews and stuff they'll look like markers that you'll actually want to want to buy but when you order it it'll be a completely different design. What the fuck is that? And it'll be a whole different like color selection and all that stuff but it's just like so messed up though but hey they're cheap markers so what the heck let's give them a try and see if they're worthy of being in my collection I'm not gonna waste time inking let's get to work So I guess you guys are kind of curious about who this other character is in this drawing. That's actually my sister. She's been wanting me to draw her up a character or give her a different character design because i ne actually never done it. But I actually have, but I don't remember actually keeping it in my portfolio. So I didn't really know what the original character looks like. So I said, why not? Let's give her a, another design. But yeah, she actually kind of looks like this. And this little backpack that she has, this is Fortnite bag that my mom got her. So I decided to dig it. And kind of include that kind of like make her into a character but yeah the other character you see it's actually me I'm holding a shield because you know like big brothers actually protect their sisters you know you know like brother and sister love you know but anyway getting back to the drawing I tried to find like two or three different colors that would blend I couldn't find like a blending trio so I had kind of had to blend two colors one would be the base color and the other would be like a shade that I could try to get it was kind of like difficult so in the end I had to throw in some colored pencil to kind of refine that and I did have a bullet nib and a chisel tip and it's not really easy to blending with those if they were brush tips then it'd be easier but these were cheap markers and a lot of cheap markers don't have brush tips it was so hard to blend especially the red the reds weren't too hard to blend but I had to use colored pencils to kind of refine that because if you try to blend with uh, the bullet nib and the uh, chisel tip together then it'll kind of make like a watermark on the page so you're gonna need to refine that with something and this set didn't come with a colorless blender and a lot of cheap markers don't actually come with a colorless blender either and this set also came with a decent amount of skin tone so I was pretty surprised by that because uh, a lot of cheap markers don't actually have a good selection of skin tones but a fair amount of skin tones that I would be able to work with but since I do draw characters and I do start blending with markers now I'm gonna need to have a skin tone and a mid tone and then hopefully a darker tone and a lot of cheap marker sets that don't have that so I had to kind of like again use colored pencil with it and the browns they weren't hard to blend but it's kind of hard to shade when you see the final drawing later then you'll actually understand because it was really hard to blend the browns together and it was hard to get like a really dark shade because that's what I tend to go for sometimes when I'm doing illustration throughout this piece that's what I was intentionally trying to do is trying to get like a really dark shade so what I had to do is I had to find like a dark marker and kind of like throw that into the shade and then like I said earlier I was going to use colored pencil to kind of like refine that and that's what I would do this this set actually had a big selection of mid-tones if you do order markers off of Wish you'll probably get like another set that has like a lot of dark tones and base tones or whatever so like I mentioned earlier there's no telling what you're going to get if you order markers off of Wish no matter what you look at no matter what reviews or what uh, pictures you look at on the internet you're going to end up with just about anything whatever Wish wants to send you I guess Okay, back to the illustration. I wanted to try something a little bit different by not adding any line work to the background. And I didn't really have any idea of what the background was going to be. So, 
all I wanted to do was I wanted to try out the greens and try to like add three layers of backgrounds and then the fourth layer the fourth layer I was gonna use to add like mountains like in the back background kind of like going with the sky I was gonna tend to use like a pale color and in this set I didn't have a lot of dark tones so it was kind of easy working with like pale colors in this illustration and then the sky was pretty easy I tried not to add a gradient because I didn't want to mess it up because like I said earlier the blending wasn't that easy with a chisel tip and a bullet tip and then the volcano in the background and if you look at the top of this illustration you'll see arrows like coming down hitting the shield I want to kind of show the viewers where the arrows are coming from because it's going to be kind of weird that these two characters are in the middle of nowhere and arrows are just coming from where nowhere so I wanted to show where the arrows were coming from and let's say they'll be coming from this volcano you see in the background I just wanted to throw that in there like say arrows are shooting out of a volcano you know something like that just to show like where the arrows are coming from because it wouldn't make sense to not put it there I couldn't really take the arrows out either because it was already inked along with the illustration before I started coloring and so yeah I actually uh, liked how the illustration turned out mostly because I didn't add line work to the background that's something I don't really do a lot of and that I think this is the first time I actually did that actually so I might want to consider that in my like in my future illustrations like adding no line work to the background just like flat out coloring it and just going from there but anyway, this is the result of the Wish.com marker that I was sent in the mail. This is the illustration that I created with it. And let me know if you guys liked it. Let me know if you guys would consider Wish.com markers in your illustrations. But honestly, I might consider using these in future illustrations. Maybe, maybe not. I haven't decided yet. I'm so indecisive right now. But yeah, that's how the drawing turned out. And before I end the video, I just want to ask y'all to do me a quick favor give this video a like and a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an upload and i will see you guys next time I